Fort San Kudo Air Base 0101. <laughs> Could have spot as any. There we go. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Mason Zock. Welcome back from work. Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, Anna's just tagging along. Hey, Anna. Say hello. No, I guess she doesn't want to say hello. Want to say anything to them? Well, guess not. <laughs> Anyway, so here we are at the army base, and I'm in the middle of a mission, and I don't think we've ever ordered a vehicle in the middle of a mission before. And I thought about getting ourselves a new helicopter. And we'll talk about the, uh, the breakdowns and the comparison between all the armored, uh, weaponized helicopters. But, uh, just at the end of another sale, and I can't resist, because it's actually a pretty good amount off. So we're going to go into Warstock. I'm wearing the Warstock shirt, so that probably gave it away. <laughs> and we're going to buy ourselves the FH-1 Hunter. I do want to get some others too, but uh, I might as well get that before the uh, the sale runs out. Don't know if there'll be a better one tomorrow, but I think it's 30% off right now. That's Yeah, seats too. Yeah, and I've already done the uh, the missions. Let me see if I can look that up here. What is it? Yes, 42 air free missions. So you need to get a hangar to be able to get one. And uh, if you want the discount, run 42 missions, and I suggest doing them because you make money anyway, and uh, then to get it, you'll get that discount. So normally it's uh, 4,123,000 and the discount will bring it down to 3.1 million. And we're going to get another discount for 30% to bring it down to 2.1 million. Yeah, almost 2.2. Yeah, charge. <laughs> FH1 Hunter. All right. So yeah, I've never ordered something on a mission, so let's try that out. Buy it now. The Hunter is nature's little way of telling someone that they're about to have a hundred rounds of heat-seeking freedom launched into their way of life. <laughs> With space for more mass destruction than anything in its class, this thing has been responsible for delivering more kilotons of democracy than any other attack helicopter on the planet. So if it's brand recognition you're after, you just found it. <laughs> yeah, so no Pegasus version, unfortunately. Must be stored in a personal hangar. Buy now. There we go, another... 2.1 million, 70,000, gone. <laughs> Be delivered to our hangar shortly. Not sure if I can really access I know I can't walk in there right now. Some of the things, like the offices, actually, you can walk in even though they don't show up on your map in the middle of a, a contact mission. But uh, the hangars don't seem to work. Not sure if that's just certain missions or not. Yeah, so here's our Savage right here. Hmm, based on the Russian hind. And now we've got the other side, the uh, the western side, which would be the Apache. So the uh, FH-1 Hunter is, for the most part, based on the AH-64 Apache, but it also has hints of the RAH-66 Comanche. Yeah, very cool. I'm not sure if I can order it right here before I take Anna back. Maybe we'll take Anna back in the new one in stock. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it's raining. Hmm. In this mission, the time is stuck, I've noticed. It's at 2100, permanently. But I've noticed the weather changes, oddly enough. Because now it's raining. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see here. So I think that's all the main main things. Um, uh, let's see, it's a medium um, uh, vehicle, much like the uh, Savage over here too. So they are, they do take up a little bit of space inside your hangar, being a medium version. It only seats two. So, you know, a lot of people compare them, and if you ask me, the best helicopter, I suppose, would probably still be the Buzzard. You know, like, you probably should have a Buzzard. It's the most valuable, best for the value, the CEO VIP menu, being able to spawn one in for free, you know, all that kind of stuff. But most people get beyond that, and in that case, then you start looking at other things like the Savage and uh, the, uh, the, the Hunter. Um, yeah, a few others. But now, to me, you know, they're different prices, so that's one thing. And the Savage actually seats uh, four. New FH-100 is now confirmed. Yeah, so you can seat everybody inside the, uh, the um, Savage, whereas the Hunter is only seating two. Now, the Hunter is generally considered the tank of the sky, though, right now. So let's see if I can spawn in. Oh, I've already got one out there, right? Yeah, you already have one. Hmm. 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 Well, we might have to spawn it a different way. FH-100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me run over to my hangar one more time. <laughs> but yeah, I might have to bring Hannah back first. 
Yeah, yeah, a lot of people compare it to the Akula. And the Akula is probably a very, very good buy. I'm going to get that very soon coming up. I regret not being able to get it during this sale. Yeah, no going inside my hangar. Open up. I want my hunter. <laughs> And I can't join an MC or anything inside the mission, so to be able to put that away. And it's probably got a timer now. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can get it. Maybe after all. Yeah, separate than the vehicle. Excellent. All right. So the uh, Savage has a uh, explosive round cannon on the front, which is really cool and very destructive. But at the same time, it uh, it can't be aimed like you have to use the helicopter to aim it. In the Hunter, you can have a second player to aim that for you. Which is kind of cool. Now the downside is that for the Hunter here, you need two players to be able to use that gun though. The explosive round gun on the front of it. So we're going to have a look at that. All right now, here it is here in stock. Let's go take Anna home. I wonder if those bikers are still over there where I picked her up from. We could go see. So the pilot sits in the back. She can hop into the gunner seat. It's too bad she can't use it. <laughs> Alright, has its own unique sound. Lift off. You can really see the Apache in it, but you can also see the hints of the Comanche in the tail and stuff like that. If you ask me. Now that the uh, the wheels do not go in or out, they're permanently like that, which some people don't like because it's kind of awkward, and it makes it uh, bigger. You know, the smaller it is, the less likely you are to hit something, right? Now let's fly over there instead of bringing her home for a second. Let's just see. Those uh, I've already brought her over there and then went over to the hangar, so it's possible that the enemies have already despawned. But maybe they're still there. And they'll be sorry they are. <laughs> if they are. So stock, we've got missile barrage and homing. And that's all the weapons you have, except for that gun in the front. Which can be used by the second player. And unfortunately cannot be done by a solo player. But a lot of people don't mind because of the, you know, the, the sphere armaments of it. So it's the, probably the toughest uh, helicopter in the sky. And uh, you usually have the missile barrages and the uh, homing missiles. And as well, you'll also have the bomb bay once we upgrade it. So, plenty of weapons. Oh, there they are. we just going to hold down the button here and switch targets. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's switch to barrage here for a second. Yeah, there was a trick a little while ago for the barrage to continue. That's uh, been fixed, just so you guys know. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of complicated anyway. I watched a video on it like a long time back and it was kind of going, well, not complicated, but you had to go in and out of your hangar and a bunch of other stuff. And, but anyway, so to anybody who have heard of that, they have fixed that a while ago. So as far as I know, you cannot do the continuous barrage anymore. Yeah, so the Akula, we were talking about that Akula and uh, it's a stealth helicopter. So in a sense, it's got the advantage of being stealth. But if you're simply talking about um, fighting helicopter to helicopter, then this is definitely better than the Akula. But the Akula, to some people, is the better choice because it's almost as good and it has the stealth ability. And it seats four, too, on top of that. So it all depends on your purposes, but to me, if you were looking for the tough helicopter of the sky, this is uh, the undefended champ. Yeah. And in many ways, some people used to consider the Valkyrie to be. Um, was it the Valkyrie? Yeah, I think it's the Valkyrie. Yeah. Um, to be uh, one of the uh, the best helicopters to date, um, it's one of the uh, the heist helicopters. But unfortunately, you do need a few players for it to be the strongest. You need players to to man the side guns, and uh, I'm not sure if you need a co-pilot all the time or not. But there is uh, weaponry for everybody. So as a solo player, this is probably definitely your toughest choice. But as we've gone through, there is advantages and disadvantages to every helicopter. And the Buzzard's probably the best value, but obviously the weakest choice. And probably not as fast as some of the other ones either. All said and done. So it seems pretty good all in stock. It's useful right off the bat. 
I find it pretty easy actually. Now, I've used this on a couple air uh, air sourcing missions, so I've got a little bit of experience with it. But this is obviously the first one I've bought, so. But yeah, it's pretty easy to, to manipulate. It is a weird helicopter to fly at first, though. It's it feels strange, but it actually flies really easy. And it's bigger than it looks, as you guys can tell. You can see when it's down here that it is a medium aircraft. Yeah, you better be sorry. <laughs> Get in the house, Anna, and stop going out to the Thank biker so brothels. <laughs> Jeez, will she ever learn? <laughs> All right. At the end of the double money event, for those that are wondering. So a little bit of an extra payout on that one. That's why I like it. <laughs> All right, let's head back to free mode, and we're going to go over to our hangar and uh, get this all upgraded and see what we think from there. Hmm, it's always nice when I put clothes back in. Apparently I had an objective for that. It's even better. Hunter. And I'm thinking probably join the company for the buzzard that I was talking about. CO vehicles. Buzzard for free. It's hard to beat that. Because our hunter's probably going to spawn somewhere farther away. I guess there are ways of bringing it closer, but hey, we'll just go get it. Go to the hangar. It's always nice to fly it in the hangar, even though it's not necessary, it's, uh, it feels good <laughs> to do it. It feels like the right way, sometimes. I don't know why the contact missions do that too. Another reason why you may not want to use body armor for them. Let's see, I've got no body armor down there. And I did have body armor going in, never got taken, so... But I've noticed that it tends to take it away from you quite often when you go in there. You did what I asked. Smart move. I will contact you soon. Yeah, you contact me all the time. <laughs> all, the, all the time, Martin. But that's alright. He just paid us 40 grand. You know, if they keep paying us, I'll, I'll accept any kind of annoyance like that. <laughs> it's worth it. 40 grand? Sure, I'll talk to you on the phone. <laughs> alright, FH1 Hunter. Look at that, she is beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. For the military aircraft, like it's just like so recognizable. Rockstar does a great job sometimes. Because these are all spoofs, they're not quite what they are in real life, right? And as we've talked about before in other vehicles, they're usually combinations and inspirations from different vehicles. So it's really cool that when the end result you see it and you know what it is. You know, you don't go, well, that's a weird looking helicopter. You know what I mean? Like it's they they quite often hit the uh, hit the look sprout on. Or pretty close anyway. Here. So certain vehicles give you the bad view, just kind of different. And this is one of them. So that's kind of cool because a lot of old video games had this view. So maybe you can get used to flying like that. <laughs> Can't see very far though. You can always tilt it though. And then you're back to this view. But yeah, that's not me doing that. It automatically does this in this vehicle to in the last view, it'll look up like this. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a bomb view, I guess. Almost. Without being the cinematic. Like this one is. What's me? Woo! <laughs> so very cool. This is the interior. Lots of instruments. Yeah, I heard, and oddly enough, yeah, it has no altimeter. So much like the Nakoda, which is an old-fashioned one, but this is a new modern one. But there's no, no altitude, no altimeter. Well, I guess there is on my helmet, though, isn't there? Or does that work? I don't know. I see the numbers on the side, but I'm not really sure. If that's, uh, yeah, that, maybe that would be your altimeter, I suppose. Gives you angles, anyway. And all the usual stuff on your map. You got access to the airspace. Come to the hangar. Thank you very much. All right. 
There's our hangar. Oh, changed views on me. Uh, uh, can we get it without changing views? Oh, it changed again. We can do it. Yeah. In we go. All right. So there she is. Looks pretty cool in the light, actually. Now at the inside, it looks even more uh, gray, like metally, than it did outside. Hmm. Very cool. Yeah, I moved some stuff around in here just to make room for it. And there's our painted hind back there in blue. Well, let's get Charlie. Okay, time to get to work. What's the vision here? Mm, the vision is death from above, Charlie. Death from above. <laughs> Armor for fifty thousand. <laughs> Although I think it would be cool to have a session that did have fuel. Talked about that before, that they do have hidden fuel tanks that were never really used, but they're in the game. Hmm, so we're gonna get flares for 110,000. Kinda needed. People are gonna shoot at us, I'm sure. <laughs> engine, hmm. I'll think about that. Now when it comes to the engine in this particular helicopter. Um, like other ones, you know, if you, it kind of depends on pilot preference, but if you go to the top level, it will pull you up. It's so fast that it'll pull you up into the sky. And some people don't like that. You know, it's kind of like certain other helicopters, um, um, like the hind, I think the, uh, the Savage back there, it will do that. I think the Cargo Bob will too, without, without carrying anything. It'll slowly bring itself up into the sky, whether you like it or not. You have to kind of bring it down, right? If you don't like that, and some pilots don't, some pilots like to kind of skim the earth, then you might want to try some different levels. So because of that, I'm actually thinking about going to level three and leaving it at that so that it doesn't pull me too much into the sky, but I've got the, uh, hopefully the most speed I can get out of it without it, with it hopefully letting me skirt the ground without too much problems. So 12,600 for level three. So you guys might want to play around with that. Thankfully, those engine upgrades aren't too much. No, they're on sale right now. But even still, as you guys can tell, at 30% off, they're not uh, they are not that expensive on a normal day if you want to try out some different ones yeah, to see if it feels better. Now, again, handling. We've talked about this before, and it's more or less the same as the other ones. So basically, um, stock is stock, as we've just seen. Um, smooth handling smooths things out, so it's not so jerky. So if you find it kind of... Awkward, you might want to try smooth handling. And if you want uh, to be as uh, quick and maneuverable as possible, then you want race handling. But a lot of people find that awkward. Um, you know, it moves uh, too fast in some ways. And, and uh, for a lot of people, it can be disorienting and you can crash. You know, it can make the, it can make the aircraft wobbly because it's so sensitive, right? So if you want it so sensitive, then race handling. And if you want the best of both worlds, kind of somewhere in between, not as good, but somewhere in between, then sport handling. All right, so that's the breakdown on the handling. Hmm, I'm gonna probably go with race handling on mine. It takes a little bit to get used to that uh, that sensitivity, but uh, in the end, it pays off for me. You know, it gives you that split second more to save yourself from from uh, head first into the buildings or or anything else, telephone poles and all the other stuff that you come across with two seconds to do something about it or less. So liveries, we're gonna get in that in a second. Weapons, bombs. All right. Now, bombs, as we've talked about before, I generally only recommend the explosive, 75,000. All right, now we can drop 50 bombs out of our bomb bay. All right, now we've talked about before that these other bombs are not worth the extra price. They do work. Incendiary causes fire. Gas is gas. But incendiary, the fires don't really kill like explosions do. Gas doesn't really kill unless people stay still for a while. But it looks cool, I guess. And cluster bombs do work. They do cluster explosion, but at the same time, they're not as strong as just regular explosives are. So save the money, and it's usually stronger. And I do hope that they fix that one day. I'd like to have napalm or, or uh, you know, better clusters or something. Turrets. So there's our 50 caliber, uh, 50 caliber turret for default, and the gunner gets the explosive turret now. So much similar to the uh, to the savages. Three hundred thousand. Well worth it. And compared to the Savage, like I said, it's pretty cool because you're on a turret there, so you can aim it. Okay, so that's all the main options there. Liveries. Shark teeth. And I am actually thinking about shark teeth or something like it. 
shark teeth bat. Oh, that's tempting. Hopefully you guys can see that good. Maybe we'll change that to white or something. Jungle camel with shark teeth bat. Shark teeth wolf. Desert camo shark teeth wolf. Forest camo. Wilderness camo shark teeth bat. <laughs> and storm camo shark teeth wolf. Hmm. Hmm. So none of the other libraries that you get with the uh, other weaponized vehicles are here, but that's okay. They got some good choices here. So it looks fine without it. But I do like the shark teeth because I think it goes with this kind of aircraft. And I've seen some other libraries I liked, but I didn't pick it on cars and things like that. And uh, this is a good choice to pick it with. So we've already gone with the bat before. Done some Batman. Batman. <laughs> this will bring justice to Gotham. Yes. So I have to work on that. It's hard to just slip in a Batman. But we'll go with the bat for now. So, hmm. So wilderness camo. Hmm. Jungle camo. Wilderness camo. Jungle camo. Wilderness camo. Jungle camo. Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna go jungle. Is a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go wilderness. Twenty-three thousand nine hundred thirty-nine. Respray, and we have primary and secondary. What's secondary? So the end. Um, just going through the colors just to try to see if there's anything else that changes with it. Not that I can see. Doesn't even look like the rotor colors are changing. So it's just the uh, the tip, the nose. Hmm. All right, come back like that. Second, go to the primary. <laughs> that makes it look like a toy. <laughs> All right. Maybe some matte colors would look good on this. Black looks kind of cool. Gray matches with it. Oranges and yellows, greens. Yep, the foliage green blends right along. Olive drab, dark earth. You can barely even tell that's camoed. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, very cool. And I wanted to see metals for a second. Sometimes metals look good on certain vehicles. Yeah, cool. A little too uh, shiny for me though today. I don't know, I'm tempted to go with that dark earth for the weirdness of it matching. And then you can see very subtly the, uh, the camo. Hmm, wasn't what I was thinking. I was actually thinking about uh, some of the browns. That's funky for snow time. <laughs> and the black's really sharp. And maybe even a stealth black would look really good with this too, right? That would be kind of traditional, kind of like we did our uh, our uh, pyro over there, all stealth, just in matte black. Even without the livery, would be pretty cool. But to be different, I'm thinking about that dark earth with that camo, just to make it funky and a subtle camo. Sure. And once again, I wish that they had uh, tinted windows in the aircraft, because I think it would be a nice little touch. Okay, now our end. Hmm. Gold goes with it, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly. Matte, black. I might go with the, uh, the gray. And you can see the different parts, see, and that's the same 
Same colors, but it doesn't quite match it exactly, perfectly on the different part. But that's all right. Looks good. But for me, I think it's between black and gray. Because the rotor blades are dark. The gray probably matches it better. But I think the black's just that little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more darker. It, it sure is, Charlie. That's the spirit. She is very pretty. <laughs> All right, so I think that's everything. Done our armor, we've done everything else. All right, exit the hangar. Take her out. Now fully upgraded. Well, the way we want it fully upgraded anyway, I think. So now we've got a Bombay right there. All right. Armed forces. Oh, it handles so much better. That really made a big difference. Yeah, and I can definitely skirt the ground. Now, if you wanted it to be even lower, you might want to go with two, level two handling or upgrade or engine upgrades because you, as you can see it's still pulling me up at level three and that's not even four that's just level three <laughs> but I might leave it like that because it is boosted as long as you control it you know like I am trying to here <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to how quickly it dives but uh, as long as you have a handle of it it might be okay and sometimes it's nice that you can let go of the button and you know it's going to slowly pull you up, not down. So it's kind of a preference thing. You guys will have to decide. All right. Very cool. Oh, that is really soft, actually. Didn't even make a sound when I touched there. I just thought we'll fly over here. Usually I might wait till morning, but it's actually a pretty nice moonlit night, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. There's our bat. <laughs> Ugly, mean looking mat. <laughs> Very cool. Now I was going to see if I hold down the button, and I'm sure it doesn't work. No. Some vehicles, but they the newer ones, they don't let you. You could just hold down the, the get in button, and it would let you get into different seating. But no, even if you want to, I don't know why Rockstar does that. What's the harm in letting me sit in my explosive cannon, really? <laughs> you know? Like, I can't even fly at the same time, so why not let me, right? I don't know. Sometimes it makes you wonder. Sometimes I understand balance and, you know, making it needed, but sometimes you just, like, really, though? I can't just sit there. <laughs> what could it possibly do? <sighs> All right, bombs away. You can carpet bomb, obviously. There's our cinematic. I'm way too late to hit that building. Cool. All right. Now it does not have any bulletproof protection for those windows. They're just regular windows, but you know, most people think it's, it is fairly um, protected, especially if you compare it to the buzzard, because, you know, you really can't get an angle on people unless they're, they're low and in front of you. You're kind of hidden, not as well as some other aircraft like the Savage, but, uh, but it's not easy to get a good sniper shot on somebody inside it. It's 
Where is everybody? <laughs> They're all hiding. <laughs> they know a superior aircraft when they see one. Got a star. Oh, there's one guy upset at me. Yep. And start shooting. <laughs> Set off all the rest of them. Coming out of hiding. We talked about this. <laughs> Very cool. Yep, so we've got our new tank of the sky. It actually was originally designed as a tank killer. So, very appropriate. Pairs that this runway would need <laughs> shut down. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to mess with me. There's still not many targets. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah, they're decent homing too. Lots of shots, no problem. Bombs might run out, but the missiles don't. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you might think that they're missing dumb fire, but the uh, the regular non-homing missiles. But actually, barrage would be your dumb fire, so you can just tap it like that. And of course, to barrage, just hold it down. Jeep police force. There's our flares. Pretty cool looking. power. Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> oh. 
All right, the four stars. I haven't seen any tanks yet. All right. Oh, there's the, there's the sound. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, time to go. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. It can take quite the beating. And it lets you know and no problems landing it. Yeah, usually you don't want to let it take that kind of punishment though. And I didn't really take any damage until I hit the ground. Yeah, for those that checked that, I didn't have any body armor when we got out of that mission, as I was saying. <laughs> Shoot these out. Not those ones. Let's get inside. <laughs> Before they recognize who we are. <laughs> it's okay, we pay the rent, we pay for all those repairs. <laughs> Alright, so let's call up Moors and get that fixed. And then we'll finish up, see how much it costs. Morse Mutual. We're here to help. No charge. All right. I think we can handle that. Well, we also know that uh, usually a lot of the aircraft are only 1,000. And uh, these days the insurance has been lowered since they fixed it, so it can't be any more than 10,000 for any kind of vehicle. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm happy with that. That is our new FH-1 Hunter. Yes, our killer of the skies. Yeah, so there's pros and cons to all the helicopters. But if you got the money to afford it, it's definitely worth it. If you want the strongest kind of aircraft like that, it's definitely worth it. But there's nothing wrong with the Akula, or others, even first. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'm Nose and Sock. See you again next time. Oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should change style. Yep, my black flight, flight suit doesn't get enough, uh, enough attention. <laughs> Just sit in the aircraft. Eat some snacks. <laughs> Away we go. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Bye bye. I'm the Wizard Zog. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Means a lot. See you again next time, everybody. Bye bye. Mm, I like this. It's a nice smooth helicopter for flying and cinematic actually. So far. Although I think you'd have to be careful. That speed means you'd be hitting things pretty quickly. She looks good. Ready for a war zone. <laughs> It takes a little bit of practice too with it, so you want to fly around a little bit with it. It turns different than other aircraft. But once you get the hang of it, it actually does it pretty well. And she probably fits into some places a little easier than the Savage does. Although, they're bred the same size when you look at the rotors themselves. Which is, for the most part, the space that you need to land. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, now when we do that headhunter, the VIPs won't know what hit them.
Wow, it makes my yacht look small, doesn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know. I was gonna say, do you think she'll fit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, she swings around real fast. Sure, she fits. <laughs> Completely. No problem. Stay. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I gotta go get a drink. <laughs> Still to this day, I pick the wrong stairs sometimes. <laughs> Hey, you see that landing? <laughs> Anything you want, please let me know. Yeah, one of those. Surprised you don't have one too after watching that land right outside your window. <laughs> All right, so very cool. Glad we got to get out. Got one of those during the sale. And you know, we're at the yacht. Maybe we should get one more thing here while we're here. Before that sale completely runs out. Let's go to Doxty's. Nothing really to do with what we're doing, but you know, we're a continuing story too. <laughs> Modifier Super Yacht. These are on sale too. Any any um alterations. Oh, I messed that up. It's not as uh, easy as the regular internet. <laughs> there. Oh, gold fittings. Hmm, do I want that? that? Bring us under 10 million again for the first time in a little while. But we can make it back. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Next. I don't think any of these should change. All right, on sale. 375,000 for gold fittings. Our yacht is complete, complete. Your yacht, Socks Revenge, has now been renovated. All right. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Cool. Let's climb up our new gold rails. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. Now that feels a lot better. <laughs> oh yeah, totally worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh.